I am five minutes away. I, see I will you sitting in your car, buddy. There are a lot of people at your party. I'm sorry, dude. I know this is not really your thing, but uh, we've got some news. Okay, news. Great. What news? Just give me the news. Even if you just want to hang out by yourself the whole time, I'd love to have you here, man. This is really important to me. Mm. I can't wait to hear the big news. Hey. Hi. Oh, oh. I didn't think you would make it. Why? <laughs> wow, nice to see you in good spirits. I'm always in good spirits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> His attention, please. We are extremely excited to have you all here tonight. <laughs> These things are like security blankets for people like you. You know, I've often heard that when people get married, they start to lose communication with their friends. But I'm happy to say that we're lucky that is not the case for us. Since I know you won't ask me. And so we wanted to gather all of you here tonight to we're say- We're having a baby. <laughs> Do you ever get the door? I knew it was you. Come on, let's go get a beer. I can't, I have to work. Take Amy, isn't it? Why well, you guys got married to do stuff together? <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Oh, that's right, because she can't drink right now. She can drink, she just can't drink alcohol. Besides, I gotta get you out of here every once in a while. I get out of here. I got a haircut. Um, I went to your little... Hey, we're having a baby party. Mm, that's right, you did. And I saw you talking to Hillary. Good for you. No, not good for me. <laughs> she took my phone, she put her phone number in it, and then she started calling me and leaving me messages. Well, did you call her back? Of course not. That's right, of course not. Oh. Because in addition to that weird behavior, she's way too happy. Well, not everyone's like you, Eeyore. I know what you mean, but... That's not it. I mean, she just broke up with her boyfriend and she was walking around the entire time like nothing's wrong. Maybe she's just relieved that it ended? Or she's a complete sociopath. Oh, Christ. No, 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 listen, listen, hear me out. There are people that walk through this life with a smile on their face all the time, regardless of what happens. Somebody breaks up with them, their dog dies, murders, natural disasters. They can watch the news and see all that terrible, terrible stuff and they're still smiling. Mm. To me, that tells me that they are going to snap. And I don't want to be there when she snaps. So I'm not calling her. You know what I think, Jeremy? I think you're looking for more excuses. Mm -hmm. You talk a good talk about not letting your condition define the person that you are, but you're just letting your whole life pass you by. Call her. I told you, it's just dinner. <laughs> and it's so nice to see the two of you together. Mm -hmm. We're not together. I think Amy has been trying to get you two together this whole time. Really? We're not together. Hey, is dinner ready yet? I'm starving. Between eating for two and no caffeine and no alcohol. It's... Actually, you're not supposed to be eating for two. It's a common mistake pregnant women make. Really? And I wouldn't stress too much about what you can't eat or drink. Easy for you to say. Stress can really affect the baby. Well, aren't you an expert? No, I was just trying not to- Not everyone I... needs you to fix them, okay? When have you been pregnant? I'm sorry, Hills. She's been moody lately. I know. Just the hormones talking. Mm. I'll go check on her. That was frightening. <laughs> you know, it's kind of funny that you're dating a shrink now. We are not dating... What'd you call her? What? What did you call her? You, you called her a shrink. Why? Are you being serious? Dude, she's a therapist. Oh my god. How, how did I not see this? What? What's the matter? What do you... What? Jesus, Jeremy. When was the last time you left this prison? I don't know. Don't really feel like doing anything. Man, you can't go around hating the whole world because of one misunderstanding. A misunderstanding? That's a bit of an oversimplification, don't you think? Was it that horrible? Yeah, it was. A woman lied to me, pretended to care about me, 
Also, she could just feel better about herself. Oh, boo-hoo. Okay, let's say she did. She did. What? Let's say she did because she did. Dude, so what? You were leaving your house. You had someone to talk to. You were going places and not worrying about anything. You know what? You're right. She's horrible. 